Hello friends, I am Dr. Saurabh Mittal. I am working as a faculty in IT and Analytics at Four School of Management in Delhi. So in this video, I am going to share with you some exciting uh, methods for data visualization with Tableau. So today we will uh, cover this topic of creating a calendar heat map for sales data analysis. In other videos, uh, very soon I will be sharing with you some interesting aspects of Tableau. I am not going to cover the very basic concepts because many of you might be having some uh, knowledge already. So I will cover some topics like animated data in Tableau, that animated charts in Tableau, using parameters, using calculated fields, and combining the sheets into a dashboard when using Tableau. So let us quickly start with uh, the Tableau hands-on exercise. Here you can notice on your screen, I have uh, created one heat map in which you can notice the sales data in an organization. So there is an option to interact and uh, change the months, right? So in this data set, that is Global Superstore I'm using. So there are uh, four years data available for sales activities in the you know, the data for quantity and uh, profit as well. So as of now, in this particular heat map, I'm using data of sales. So user can change the month. For example, right now it is showing July 2040. You can change it to March 2013, right? And darker the blue color, you can notice that is the highest sales. For example, 11th of March 2013, there was highest sales of 18,000 US dollar, right? So this is all interactive. And at one time, user can select only one month. So that kind of heat map we have created. Exciting. So let us start with the hands-on exercise. So when you start Tableau, there is an option of importing a new data source. So you can click on this and you have to add a, a data file. For example, this data I'm fetching from MS Excel. So this data is uh, freely available on various websites. So you can search for global superstore, right? So this is quite a heavy file and uh, it is around 7.8 MB. So you can open that. Once you open, you will be able to see three sheets as are given on the left hand side. You can drag the data of other sheet, right? Once you drag it here, you will be able to see there are around 51,000 rows and 24 fields. Okay. So once you have added your data into Tableau, then we add a new sheet, right? So from the status bar, you can notice there is an option for sheet one. So by default, first sheet will be given. So right now we are having one sheet, which is having that heat map and I'm going to add a new sheet, right? So the set, next icon I'm going to select. So this is the blank sheet that we have. And if you are familiar with Tableau, so you must be knowing that uh, there is an option of uh, having rows and columns uh, you can add certain fields into rows and in the columns and you can customize them and whatever is the output that will be shown in this work area, right? So the white area that you can see here on the screen. So friends, uh, we will be requiring the order date information in rows, right? So if you remember here, we were having the week numbers and in the columns, we had the weekdays, right? So we have the data for sales activity. So this I have to convert into weeks. So just use the drop down, the scroll drop down button is given. And uh, here you have to use week number. So you can notice week number one to week number 53. 53, why? Because uh, there could be the last week which may not be completing and the next week may start. So your year may be starting with maybe Monday or it may be a Saturday. So that's why there could be 53 weeks. So my rows are sorted out. Now I want to have the columns. So in the columns also, I need to have the order date information. I'm going to fetch it. Right now it is showing you year wise, right? 2011, 12, 13, 14. But I need the weekday. So again, drop down and we select the weekday. So now you can notice Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So that is being properly shown. Next, what we need to have is we need to have the date, for example, one, two, three, 
right? So that should be shown in place of this ABC information. So what I can do that I will select the order date and I'll drop it here on this marks. So the text marks or the label I need to update with the order date. I'll just drop it here. And right now it is showing you the information of year. I have to convert it to date. Okay, so on your screen, you can notice that week wise information is given and the week number is given and the week day is also given. Now I want to also showcase the sum of sales, right? So the sum of sales I am dragging onto the labels. So you can notice, friends, that uh, some of the sales is being given that on the second year. So week number one, right? So friends, if you notice that there are four years, right? 2011, 12, 13, 14. So what is happening? So it is showing you the week one of all the four years combined. And when there was a Monday on the week first. So Monday of week first for all the four years that is being shown here. It is not showing me the week one of year 2011. So what I need to do, I have to do the filtering. So in the filter also, we need to put order date. And here we have to select month of the year. So that whenever there is any selection happening, for example, January 2011 or 2012, 13, 14. So these are the four years data that we have. I'm going to select all, apply. Okay. So there is now filter activated and uh, it is not visible on the right hand side. So what we can do, we can select this drop down and click on show filter. So you can notice friends that on the right hand side, it is showing you all the months and year combination. We can deselect it and we can select a particular month. So right now, the data that is being shown to you that will be belonging to March 2011. Okay, if you select March 2012, the data will change. So March 2011, I can deselect and March 2012 it is showing right now. One more important change that we need to do that the coloring, the background color has to be provided to all the boxes here. So what we need to do, we can select this sales field and I can drop it on the so right now it is using the text color only to showcase which particular month was, which particular day was having the highest sales. For example, 20th, 20th of March 2012 was having 17,842, that is the highest sales amount. And the lowest sales amount, I believe it is 625. So that is being shown as a very light color. We can change the mark, right? So right now it is showing you the text, right? So you can go to this uh, mark card and you can select the option of square. The moment you select square, so what it has done, it has created a box and it is giving the coloring as per the sales amount. So you can notice the darkest one that is being shown as 17,842. If you want to have this heat map shown on the full screen, what we can do, you go to the top bar, that top toolbar is given and here it is showing you the option of standard. So we can take it to entire view so that this heat map will be shown on the full screen. So most of the tasks we have done, so only few changes need to be done now. Because these labels are quite small, we can make them more visible. So what we can do, click on the label and here you have the option of font. You can increase the font size, maybe 12. Okay. And if you want to change the font style, so that beautification you can do. For example, I can make it to Cambria. That is perfectly fine. And if you want to change the appearance of your labels, so you can click on these three dots and you can define that uh, they, they should be shown first. And then it should show me the information of sales amount and uh, we can have a small title like sales and then we can put a dollar mark also. Then there can be a small space and uh, the information of date that should be shown bigger. 
probably we can make it 14 bold and uh, sales amount can also be filled bigger and all this information that should be center aligned. Okay, so it is not able to show so much of information. Probably we have to reduce the size. The sales amount can also be reduced to 10. Date information can be 12. Supply. Now this showing up properly. If you want, we can break this into multiple rows as well, something like this. Apply, so it will be shown better. Okay, so now this uh, label is quite visible to us. If I make it a presentation view, so right now this is how my content will be shown. And on the right hand side, friends, uh, there is one issue that uh, the user may select two months. So in that case, the information may not be properly readable. So what we can do, we can make this filter a single selection, right? So something like a radio button, we can make it. How to do that? Go to the drop down on the filter and there's an option of selecting the behavior of this filter. So right now it is showing multiple value in a list format. What we can do, we can make it a single value. And if you want, you can make it a slider or maybe a list. Right, or maybe a drop button. If you want to make it a list, then it will become like a radio button, or you can make it a drop button. Right? So this is done. Make a full screen mode now. So you can now select only one one at a time. So perfectly fine. So this card may not be so exciting. If you want to change, you can do that. But yes, it is also showing me some important insights. You can notice that uh, 2011 September month, it is showing the minimum sales is 750 and highest is 36,000, right? I'm not altering it uh, manually, so it is automatically capturing the information. For June 2012, it is showing me minimum sales is 178 and the highest one is 15,950. So that makes sense. So let us have a more descriptive title for this visualization. So right now it is showing sheet two, so let us uh, revise the name of the sheet. So I'm making a heat map calendar. Okay. As I change this name, you can notice the title is also changing because by default in Tableau, there is a setting that it is um, using the same sheet name as a by default setting. So you can double click on it and you can revise this. Right. So we can mention what is the file name, the data source name, I can I can use that. So I can mention the data source name. So it will mention global source store. <clears throat> and what is the month that I'm, I'm sure? So we can use uh, this option of MY, month of the year. Right? So that is important for me. And uh, if you want to make any changes in the phone size, so that can be done. You can make it bold, unbold, center align, right? So, and coloring also is possible. So you can pick and choose. Okay. So I like a black color only here. Apply, okay. Apply. Okay. So now you can notice that uh, your visualization has been shown properly. Now you can view it and you can interact with it, right? So the highest sales will be shown properly. So friend, this is how you can create this interesting graphic for the data visualization in your organization. Lots of uh, insights about your business can be captured. So you may change the sales data with profit information or the number of sales transactions that we are doing. So all that is possible. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and uh, this trick was well understood by you. I'm requesting for your valuable feedback. Thank you.